guys in this video I will tell you facts about spender statistics. Because I see there are still many who do not understand, even old players. So I think it's important to get your thoughts straight, and at the same time a guide for beginners. So you guys know what's really going on and maybe help you manage your expenses. Previously did you know about deflation? Which is the opposite of inflation. You can look on Google for more details. So that's what happened in this game. But unlike deflation in other fields, here everything you buy related to statistics, in 5 months its value will be zero. So in just 5 months no matter how much money you spend on your stats everything will be zero. And this applies to this game as well as similar games namely KOA. You want proof? Ok I will prove it. Because some people have a low understanding then I need to explain little by little so that it is easy to understand. First, for evidence of deflation, you can pay attention to material prices and scrolls. Where every few weeks the price of the material will go down, meaning that at the same price you will get more material than the previous weeks. For example, Silver Dragon Elixir, so you don't get confused, pay attention to the gold. So for 200 gold here we get 3 elixir. I took this screenshot a few months ago after an update after the new equipment was released. And a week after that for the same price we get 5 elixir. And if you pay attention, it also applies to crimson gold material, where here for 200 gold we get 76,000, and previously we only got 43,000. So that's what happened deflation of the prices of all materials and scrolls, and it was routine. You can see how much all these materials cost now, and compare in a week or a maximum of two weeks to see the evidence firsthand. Furthermore for proof that in five months all the money you spent on stats its value to zero. First notice this. This is a new gem grade 11. Which was just issued in early December 2021. And this is the gemstone before. Grade 10. First, let's compare the statistical differences. These are the max stats for one gemstone of legendary quality. And this is the lowest quality statistic of grade 11. And the score is slightly higher than the grade 10 of the highest quality. So even if you maxed out the previous quality, if a new grade appeared even with the lowest quality it would be even better. And it can be said that the previous grade was useless and wasted. Although it has been upgraded to the maximum. So in other words all the money you spent buying scrolls and materials is all wasted. And you have to use the new ones, otherwise you will be stuck with the old stats. And the only way is to buy a new one if you want to increase your stats. And after upgrading to max then stats will increase almost two times from lowest quality. And the only way to maximize it is to buy new materials. Because the amount of material required for the latest grade will be much more than before, and always has been. And if you previously had maximum or legendary quality, then when you move to the next grade then that material will only be able to bring you to precious quality, or one upgrade. And always will be. Because I don't want to get my account out of Nirvana, so I give an example with a farm account. Pay attention to this, this is grade 8 with max or legendary quality. Now I'm going to disassemble it to make grade 9, and will try to upgrade using those materials. You can see the material from the previous highest quality can only do one upgrade for the quality above it. And it always is. You can test it or calculate the amount if necessary. And this happens not only to gemstones but also to others, such as airship parts, coat of arm, curiosity, guard weapons, and equipment. And all things related to these statistics are set, so that every 5 months a new one appears. You can see the proof here. There are several channels that regularly upload game updates. And as a marker, I took this recording on December 7th. 
which in today after the update a new gemstone appeared, and there is already a video about it. Now let's look at the evidence. We will look for the previous gemstone update. And I need to remind you that even though GOG statistics are different from KOA, the system is the same, namely new items will appear replacing old items every 5 months. Here it is, you can see it was released 5 months ago. I hope you can understand what I mean before, and hopefully this explanation is clear enough, that as spenders no matter how much money you spend to build your stats in this game it will only last for 5 months. But all of this doesn't matter as long as we do it consciously and are happy with the game, but the problem is that many are not aware, be it old players, especially new players. And generally a lot of new players spend like crazy at the start of the game, because they don't know what they're doing. It doesn't matter if we want to spend money on the games we like. Everyone wants to be stronger than the others. But in this game all you need to do is regularly spend the same amount every month, because when you stop spending money your stats will be the same as with other non-spenders, or maybe weaker if you don't understand how to do events properly. So don't ever think this game is an investment, I often hear people say that, that he invests in a game like this. Because as we discussed earlier the economic value in statistics is zero after 5 months. And non-spenders will get what you buy for free, even though non-spenders can only collect scrolls for one item per month each during the event, and cannot upgrade like spenders. I have explained that in the video about tips on building statistics without spending money. I've been doing it for the past 2 years, and proved it to you guys in some of my videos. For main account castle 42 play with little spend i.e. less than 50 bucks every month. And castle account 41 for just $1 no more and used to be just a farm account to pick up resources. And in just 4 months I built it so the stats are the same as my main castle. And this is the battle report where I used the castle as a bait where at that time there was a civil war and they were wrong for underestimating my farm account. Even the mega rallies of some of the main accounts can't beat my farm account. That's what happens when you play with strategy and your opponent without strategy. And the strategy here is in addition to combat knowledge you also have to know about your opponents, their weaknesses and strengths. So don't just brag about your strengths because you will forget that you also have weaknesses that your opponent will take advantage of. And as information. Now all my castles are in Nirvana, since there is no suitable offer, naturally my stats won't increase. But I'm not worried because if one day I go back to play increasing normal stats, or the equivalent of a player who spends an average of 200 to 300 dollars per month is easy for me, and only takes 4 months. Even though I haven't played in months or years. I hope there are benefits from this video, if you are bored with this game then you can try my new game. Because there are many tips that I will discuss later. Thanks for watching, see you.